Hey guys, Amanda here at Black Dog LED, checking in on our 4x4 with our four hemp plants. So as you can see, I'm just going to do a quick little overview in the tent. It's day 8, the flower sites are starting to come up, and the plants are nice and light, so we're going to go ahead and water them with our Diamond Grow Bloom Nutrients. So we're going to go ahead and water all four plants nice and evenly. I like to give each one an entire canister full before moving on to the next one. This helps make sure that you're getting an even amount, amount to all the plants. This also helps with run through. If you have like two inches in one saucer and one inch in another, you know you need to give that one plant a little bit extra. You definitely want a nice even amount of runoff in all of the saucers when you're done. So at day eight, you should start to see bud sites coming up. It is very strain dependent, but by now you should definitely see the plant doing something different than being in vegetative state. So this is a good indicator of the 10 to 15% runoff we're looking for. As you can see, these two plants over here didn't get as much runoff, so we're gonna go ahead and hit them some more. So it's day 12, and as you can see, we have some nice flowering sites coming up. Right now, the fan in the front is a little bit low. It's blowing straight into the plant. So I'm going to go ahead and raise that a couple inches. We want it just above the canopy to do a nice sweep, and this just simulates wind and helps with air movement inside the tent. So raise that nice and tight. The plants are still nice and heavy, so we're not going to have to water them today. Temperature and humidity is nice and dialed in. Alright, so it's day 21. We're going to be defoliating these plants today. We've been getting a lot of questions about if we have to defoliate with our lights, um, if you have to change your feeding schedule when you defoliate, and things like that. So let me go ahead and address those. No, you do not need to defoliate with using our lights. We have found that it definitely helps with light penetration and yields, and we love doing it because of that alone. As for the nutrients, we have not seen needing to decrease or increase our nutrients when we do the defoliation. We've been growing a lot of the same strains and they have all bounced back really great, but it is very strain dependent. So if you do want to defoliate in your garden, we suggest trying one or two plants, seeing how they respond to it before doing an entire garden. All right, so now we're going to start with the defoliation. Can't wait to see what these babies look like when they're done. Now that the plants are done being defoliated, we're going to put them back in the tent and scrog them out. Scrogging really helps get the light penetration down into the canopy, which overall helps with yields.
right, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to us, blackdogled.com. Leave your comments on here, open up a help desk ticket. We're always here to help.